Adam Ford spends most of his free time on the ice. He likes to get around. And his new invention, the Predator 1600 ice auger machine, helps him get there fast. The ice auger motor is what you use for a steering mechanism, and it also is the motor of the whole device. It's only attached by one quick pull pin. You take the pin out, and the entire motor pops off, and you're able to put your ice auger bit onto it and start drilling your holes. Adam's been fishing his whole life, but out there on the ice, that's his passion. If you catch a lot of fish, that's a really good day. Sometimes you don't catch anything, and uh, it's still a really good day. Even the cold can't bring him down, most times. I can handle a pretty cold day. Minus 30 with the wind chill, and you don't want to be out there. It's very dangerous. Four years ago, Adam found out firsthand just how dangerous it can be. I was planning on going out and doing some walleye fishing. There was a certain place that I wanted to go to, two miles offshore. It was a pretty long hike, but I made it. A fierce storm blew in out of nowhere. The wind started to pick up pretty strong, and I was starting to get a little nervous because it was getting dark. Adam was stranded. I was getting pushed and pulled all over from the wind. There was open water around me. I decided to leave because uh, I was going to freeze to death if I didn't. Looking back at his sled, Adam had a eureka moment. I kept asking myself, geez, how can I use this gas engine to get me back on shore safely? Back home, Adam, a machinist by trade, got to work. I actually started with a wooden prototype just to see if it would work, if the engine had enough power to move me. He spent nights and weekends modifying the design and building a working prototype. The first time it hit the ice, I was using a motor that was about 15 years old, so it wasn't giving me the best results in the world. It was definitely lacking a lot of power. Today we're going to be switching the rear sprocket into a much bigger sprocket on the rear axle. More torque means better traction in the snow. I understand that it's going to sacrifice some speed, but I don't know how much yet. In the dead of winter here, there can be more than half a meter of snow on the ice. That's why upping the torque is key. Now we're all ready for testing. It's definitely not meant to replace a snowmobile or four-wheeler. I'd say it's more meant for the early ice conditions when you don't need all that power and speed. You definitely are able to get it on the ice earlier than you can get a four-wheeler or snowmobile on the ice. Adam's ice auger machine has been geared to go faster, up to 19 kilometers an hour. But at that speed, it's a safety concern. If you make it go slower, it's more powerful and it can get through deeper snow. And it's a snowy one today, about 20 centimeters of pure powder. Does he have the torque to handle it? Today was a really successful day out on the ice. We're going about eight miles an hour now, which is still plenty more than uh, what's needed out there. I was pretty happy and pretty um, excited about the results. And this is where I do the designing. Adam has plenty of ideas for his next prototype. He wants to upgrade the steering column, use an aluminum frame instead of steel, and build a seat that swivels around 360 degrees. I think that it can be safer, it can save lives in many situations. My own would have been one of them. I've been passionate and a hard worker my entire life. Hopefully this is just the beginning for me.